Module one, lesson sixteen. Objective is to solve two step word problems using the standard subtraction algorithm, and we will also be assessing the reasonableness of our answers using rounding. Go ahead and read with me. A company has three factories. They built eighty-two thousand four hundred fifty cars altogether. One factory builds thirty-one thousand seven hundred twenty-five cars. The second factory builds twenty-seven thousand six hundred ninety-two cars. How many cars did the third factory build? What's the known information? One of the knowns is how many cars they built all together. We're talking about three different factories. So the whole amount or what they built all together, we know as 82,450 cars. And we know that this was made up of one factory, two factories, and three factories. So one of the factories, they built 31,000. 725 cars. And what we'll do is that we will also, from that 82,450, we'll also mark off for the second factory 27,692. Then finally, for the third factory then, that is what we are trying to solve for or our unknown, which we will call F. So this is what we've drawn now to represent our problem, where we know the total amount of cars that the three factories build together, and we know for factory one and for factory two. And what we can actually even do is we can write that on out right within the problem. So we know, hey, this is factory one, and this is factory two, and this is factory three, or what we're solving for. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is that we'll go ahead and add together these two numbers so that we know how much the factory one and factory two have created all together, and that they built all together with those cars. Five plus two is seven, two plus nine is 11. We'll place a one and regroup a one. Seven plus six is 13, and one more is 14. Four, regroup the one. One, one, and seven is nine, and in the 10,000s place I have three plus two, which is five. So I know this amount here is 59,417. That's the number of cars that factory one and factory two have made. To figure out factory three, I need one more step. And that step is to take all of the cars and subtract the 59,417, which I'll show right on over here. I cannot do 0 minus 7, so the 5 becomes a 4, the 0 becomes 10, and then I can continue with that standard algorithm. So, factory 3, and that F is equal to 23,033 cars. Factory three built twenty three thousand thirty three cars. I do have to use some rounding to check my answer. So first off I shrunk my original work and then I will go ahead and figure out for factory one and factory two my rounded numbers are as follows. Let's see thirty one thousand seven hundred twenty five 
to the nearest thousand would be 32,000. For factory two, I would have had 27,692 rounded to the nearest thousands place as what? 28,000. And remember, what did I do with the factory one and factory two numbers? I added them to begin with. So, we do that. 2 plus 8 is 10. 0 root group of 1. 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 6. So for this amount here, and that estimated amount, that was 60,000. My full amount was 82,450. But instead of that there, and subtracting 82,450 minus... Um, 59,417, I am taking those estimated amounts of, let's see, that would be 82,000, nearest thousand, minus 60,000 that I had just figured out, which is about 22,000, which would be the amount for factory three. It is very close to my actual amount, so, I think that my answer is reasonable. Read with me. There were 24,706 fans at the baseball game on Saturday. On Sunday, there were 2,587 fewer fans. How many fans attended the baseball games on Saturday and Sunday? Let's write a focused answer first. There were blank fans when on Saturday and Sunday. Meaning we need to know Saturdays and we need to know Sundays. Which of those is the known amount? Right, Saturdays. So we'll start with a tape diagram for Saturdays. And Saturday's amount is 24,706. Do we know Sundays? Kind of. It says on Sunday there were 2,587 fewer fans. Is there more or less on Sunday? Right, there's actually less on Sunday. So we'll go ahead and draw our bar, and we'll draw it so that that bar is less. And how much less was it? It was 2,587 less. And that's why we label that portion and those fewer fans, and it goes all the way up to the edge of what that Saturday bar's length is. And this is the amount at this point that we do not know. That's the amount we don't know. The other amount that we do not know is this amount here, which will be the fans attending on Saturday and those fans attending on Sunday. And that's why this is a two-step word problem. I'll go ahead and label this P with another variable. So our first variable that we'll solve for is this one here, that question mark. Now, if this had gone in here, this amount here, 2587 from 24706, that's why we know that to figure out Sundays, we'll take the amount on Saturday and we'll go fewer people, or minus 2,587. And remember, right now we're figuring out the amount for Sunday. 6 minus 7, I can't do that. I have to go to the hundreds place. The 7 becomes a 6. Then we're at 10 tens, which can become 9 tens, to become 10 ones with the 6 ones there is 16 ones. 16 minus 7 is 9, 9 minus 8 is 1, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 4 minus 2 is 2. And I'll bring down the other 2. So this amount right here is 22,119. Let's see if that amount is reasonable. 2,587 fewer is about 3,000 fewer. The amount on Saturday was 24,706, which is about how many thousand? 25,000. So if we subtract those two amounts, that gives us 
about 22,000, which is very close to my actual answer for the attendance for Sunday. What I still have not done yet, though, is now that I know my attendance for Sunday and my attendance for Saturday, I can figure out what P is, which will be the sum of Saturday's attendance and Sunday's attendance. And you'll notice that those two numbers, they should be 2,587 away from each other. 9 plus 6 is 15, 5, regroup a 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 7 plus 1 is 8, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 2 plus 2 is 4. So there were 46,825 fans on Saturday and Sunday. I could do a check for it. It would be 25,000 plus 22,000. There's really not enough room there which is approximately 47,000, which is very, very, very close to what my actual answer is. And then so I do feel that that answer is reasonable. So this is another type of problem that you might have where it is that you have multiple steps. In this case, this is a way we're showing Saturday and Sunday separately here so that we can go ahead and draw this bracket here to indicate that we are adding those two things together. I think one of the big keys with each and every single one of these problems is that it is a read, draw, and write approach where it is not only we're reading the problems, we're drawing those tape diagrams, and we're writing that sentence where it is that we are expressing our answer nice and clearly. We also want to be able to check that work. We can use rounding, where it is that we are rounding to the thousands place or the hundreds place or even the ten thousands place to be able to check our answer to see whether our answers are reasonable or not. And then so in some instances, we were doing of the whole amount or we were taking a whole amount for instance, 3,012, subtracting 287 to be able to get what we were solving for. And then so you have different ways to look at these problems and you have to break them apart. And drawing a picture can help you figure out what it is that you need to do for each of those problems. Always remember to check and express your answer clearly by writing out that sentence.